so hello friends how are you today I'm gonna show you how to do a double density gradient for IUI sample so first we'll take solution A which is 80% gradient then solution B which is 40% gradient so First we have to put solution A and we will use this conical tube which is 15 ml. So first we open solution A and we pour all the solution in tube. Okay, as you can see, this is solution A. Now, what we are going to do, now we layer this solution B on solution A very gently so it don't get mixed. So it takes solution B and gently layer on solution A very gently so it don't get mixed so as you can see the color change this is solution A B and this is solution A now on the top of the solution B we are going to put semen sample so so here is the semen sample so we will take about 1 ml to 1.5 ml semen sample and we make a layer on this solution B very gently So, so you can see semen sample solution B and solution A now what we are going to do we are going to centrifuge this tube about 2000 rpm for 10 to 15 minutes what will happen a good motile sperms will come down by filtration through 40% and 80% and make a pellet under the bottom of the tube so I will show you later now I am going to put this in centrifuge so I put the tube here and this is the balancing tube and uh, I am going to start this for 10 minutes 10 minutes on 2000 rpm Now it's reaching 2000 RPM. Meanwhile, I will take this pure sperm wash solution about 3 ml and put this in another tube, which is washing tube. Take about 3 ml of washing solution and put this in this tube. So this is washing washing solution. And I'm gonna put this in a digi block. 
into dg block at 37 degree so it get warm so this is the re result after centrifugation as you can see here a small pallet of sperms so now we are going to remove all these layers very gently so this don't get disturbed with this solution so take 3 ml pipette and I have a container and I'm gonna remove all these layers very gently discard this in here So what we left is pallet with little solution. Now we are going to put this solution with sperms and put this in a washing tube. So what we are going to do, take TML pipette. Take little washing solution. So take this little solution, washing solution, and put this here. Mix it well, so uh, palette get disturbed and mix with solution. And take all this solution and put this in the solution. So now we are going to centrifuge this tube at 2000 rpm or 15 or 2000 rpm for 5 minutes. So this is Hapus media. The final sperm will be layered with this media. So we'll take this for usually it's vary from country or center to center how much media that you have to take to layer your IUI samples in our center we mostly use 4 to 5 ml 4 to 5 0.5 ml hip solution so we are not going to take 0.5 this is as you can see this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 ml media so we are going to layer large, our last bombs with this solution and we will load this And this is IUA catheter. It's supposed 17 cm long. It's bent on the patient to patient. With BD set. So here is the final result of centrifugation. As you can see the clear palette of sperms in the bottom of the tube. Now we are going to move, remove all this liquid, discard all this liquid and we layer with our HEPAS media and we will load this sample in IUI catheter. So very gently remove this media, very gently.
So here we have left a palette and now we are going to layer this with our hairpress media. And we now we are going to disturb this palette and this is our final IUI sample result. And this is double density gradient. I'm going to show you this in under microscope. How is this look like? Now we are going to load this in IUA catheter. So first, this is catheter, and this is VD syringe. Now first, take out the catheter and fix this. Now take solution and load this sample in IUI catheter so this is our IUI sample